going to start off by just drawing a straightish line, just freehand across the page. There we go. We're then going to draw our cyclist, so he's going to be just up here. And two little wheels, so one circle here. Then we're going to be drawing the frame. Just like this, like a parallelogram. And then front part of the bike. And then the front wheel, just like so. I'm gonna add the little person on top. So a shape for the body and the knee and then the foot a little arm and a little circle for the head and a line for his cap we're then going to draw the beach up behind him so basically they're just a series of rectangles so we're going to do the first one here a rectangle with a little roof on so we often think that beach huts, they're very common here in the UK. They originated in uh, Queen Victoria's era, but it was actually in the 1700s that they really kind of took off. And it was when doctors prescribed people to go and, um, you know, have some cold seawater to help with various illnesses. We're now starting the next beach hut, by the way. And um, yeah, it gained in popularity, particularly during the Victorian era. And it was just a place to kind of shelter from the wind, to get changed, to keep some privacy. You know, some of them, I know in Bournemouth where I live, they have like little uh, kitchenettes and things like that. Try and keep them all the same kind of distance across. So I'm just drawing the roof again. I'm just using kind of a sketchy style for these. And then the back and then another one kind of keeping the same distance between them some beach huts are so expensive like um i think mudderford which is um close to bournemouth in christchurch some beach huts go for about three hundred thousand pounds and they are very expensive some of them you can stay the night in but typically you wouldn't, you're not allowed to, the ones in uh, just these normal common beach huts. Although in Bournemouth, we've got some overnight beach huts, which are pretty cool. You can wake up to the sound of the sea. Never actually stayed in one, I'd quite like to. So anyway, let's just do some more of these. And then one more over here, we're just gonna draw a little bit of this one. And the same over here. Let's just see that all the tops are all kind of in line. Great. We're then going to be drawing the sand, so. And then the sea, or the impression of the sea. And then some trees in the background. Going to use pen but please carry on in pencil this is just so that you can see it better so i'm going to add some detail i'm going to draw the little man so let's just put him in i'm using a super fine pen then afterwards i'm going to use some watercolors just to add a dash of color i'm just giving the impression of somebody he's got a baseball cap on should really be wearing a helmet, shouldn't he? There we go. Handlebars. Got some shorts on. I 
I love to cycle along the beach, but only out of season. It's too, well, way too busy in season. Okay, so let's do this first beach up behind him. Actually, first of all, I'm gonna draw the, the ground, just puts it into some context. And then the sand. And then the sea. And then we'll get into the nitty gritty of the beach huts in a second. So, the bottom of this beach hut. It's got like a little white part at the bottom, so I'm just going to put that in. And then the other one. One more. Then one over here. And then there's a wall behind them. And then all the lovely trees. Okay, so now go over it and pen and erase all the pencil marks. Okay, now we're gonna add some details. So we're gonna add the door, which comes, it's just a rectangular shape in the center. With line down the center. And a little padlock there. And then the same on each of them. Don't worry about it being straight. Don't use a ruler. It's meant to look kind of arty. And now we can add some of the timber lines. So just a few, just to show the direction. And then on the doors, the timber goes the other direction. Right, we're ready to get our colors out. 
Okay, they're all going to be different colours, so I'm just using some watercolour paint and I'm just going to paint in all the areas of colour, which is the inside part here. And then this part's going to be much darker. I'm just doing all the dark parts. And then the roofs. Okay, this one's going to be much brighter. This one's going to be even lighter. A kind of lilac -y colored one down here. pinky one at the end. And a much darker one on this one. Now for the grey wall behind them. And using a yellow ochre, just going to put in some sand. And then for the pathway, kind of a very light brown. Now I'm going to do some of the vegetation in the background. Some darker foliage in the background. Now for the guy's shirt.
And there we have our finished little beach hut painting. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then check out all the other videos in the playlist.